had to come mix up some gas uh, for the chainsaw to finish cutting up uh, the tree on the hillside. But uh, just wanted to bring you guys in here in my shop and kind of show you some of the other stuff uh, in here. Got, uh, well, you can see around behind me uh, some of my other hobbies we got going on here. Um, work on uh, these old gravelies and stuff, restore them. That's the one I restored uh, a few years back. Uh, got part of the sickle bar mower on it that uh, I'm gonna work on this winter, redoing it and uh, repainting it. Uh, got this other one here, this one belonged to my dad. Restored it a few years back. Uh, so I'm set up for snow season, just put the snow blower on it, need to clean it up. But got it all on there and in working order right now. Uh, then I got the Hoss Cap, the RK24 that I bought this year. That thing right there is a back saver. Got the mechanical thumb on the backhoe. A lot of times uh, I use that to pick the logs up and stuff to hold them up there while I cut them up. Uh, do it. You use this quite a bit. Done a lot of work around the on my property with it and uh, then uh, this one here this is one that a lot of people like and have never seen before but this is uh, my Gravely backhoe now, I finished restoring this one last winter and it's just got a few hours on it where I've just really took it out and tested it and, you know, everything works just like it's supposed to, just like it from the factory. Uh, just waiting to take it to a show. Uh, of course, you know how things have been this year. It's really put a damper on tractor shows and things like that. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get it out weather permits uh, later on, and uh, I'll do some videos just about the tractors I have. Uh, show you guys what this thing looks like running and uh, just how well it does for what it is it's uh, it does does a real good job 